All right, so sometimes when you get parallel perpendicular questions, you just get questions like, are these lines parallel perpendicular or neither? So I thought I'd talk about that. Um, the reality is parallel perpendicular or neither, uh, you know, their determinations are based totally on slope. The only case that this is not true is when you have, uh, if I have a line that has an intercept that starts to say positive one, and then it goes up two and over three. And then I have another line that may be in a different form, standard form or something, and I work it out, and it turns out that it starts on one and goes up two and over three. That's the same line. That would be, uh, if we were to do a solutions, that would be infinitely many solutions. But the reality is, as long as they have different intercepts and different slopes, or one or the other, then you can say that the lines are either parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Now, for parallel, you'll notice uh, that these lines are both going in the same direction. So uh, essentially what we're worried about is their sign, and we're worried about their slope. So you'll notice both of these are negative, so, in, uh, so we would say that it's possible that they're parallel, because you have to, in order for them to be parallel, you'll have to have the sign and the slope the same. So this one goes down so it's negative, and it goes, you know, say down 1 and over 7. Same thing here, down 1 and over 7. These have the exact same sign and the exact same slope, so they are parallel. Now, for perpendicular, you end up with a setup like this. The reality is perpendicular lines intersect, which means they cross each other, at a 90 degree angle. That's the key issue of having perpendicular lines. It has to have a 90 degree angle. Now, in order for that to make it happen, not only do the signs have to be different, so we'll say that signs are opposite. So say, for instance, that this one is positive. So we'll say it's plus um, 2 over 5. It doesn't really matter. I'm just making up those numbers. The other one not only has to be negative, so the sign has to be opposite, so it's going to have to be negative. You also have to have the slope flip over. So this is what's referred to, uh, the slope has to be a reciprocal. So not only does it get, because if it was negative two-fifths, it would just look like this line going down, so you'd have this. But this line and this line are not making a 90 degree angle, so it's not perpendicular. And this one is. In order to make that happen, I have to go and flip the inequality over, so it goes down five and to the right two. So uh, we would refer to this relationship as being an opposite. Reciprocal. And if it only meets one of those criteria and not the other, it's not perpendicular. As you can see, just because they have different signs doesn't mean perpendicular. It has to be flipped over and negative, or changing the sign in one way or the other. And then there's just neither, which could be anything that's not these two things. You could have the same slope with different signs, so if this was one-third or something, this one is negative one-third, say. See, they're not, they're opposites, but they're not reciprocal, so it's not perpendicular, it's not parallel, it's neither. So any relationship that doesn't give you one of the other two, it's got to be neither. So let's do a few, and I think maybe it'll become more clear. Maybe, who knows, maybe not. Now, as I said before, it's important to focus on the sign only. These problems are in slope-intercept form. You can tell because the y is by itself. And if it's called slope-intercept form, that would mean that the two parts after the y equals would be the slope and the intercept. Well, and the x. The x is not part of anything. It's the input. But here's my slope. It would be m in most cases. So I just circle them. And then I make a comparison statement. It's like tail of the tape in a boxing match. How are they related? Two-thirds and two-thirds are the same. So this is going to give me a parallel setup. And what it looks like generally is it starts way up here, and this one goes up two and over three, so something like this maybe. And then you'll have the same basic idea here. So you get a nice parallel line. So if they're the same, you say they're parallel. On the other, on the next one, I'm going to circle it once y is by itself. This is one-fourth 
versus negative 4. Now, anything divided by 1 is itself. If you take 10 and divide it by 1, it's 10. If you take 9 and divide it by 1, it's 9, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is rewrite negative 4 as negative 4 over 1, because it makes it way easier to see. So not only are these signs opposite, you can see that when you flip over this fraction, you get this one. So 4 over 1 flipped over is 1 over 4. So opposite reciprocal so I can say that these are perpendicular. And in the last one, uh, the tail of the tape says one-third and negative one-third. And these are opposite. They do have opposite signs. But they're opposite same. It doesn't mean either criteria. They're not totally the same. And they're not opposite reciprocal. So I just say that this is neither perpendicular nor um, parallel. So let's look at some that have standard form. These are the ones that are a little bit more complicated. My best advice, and if I could give it, is that it makes a lot of sense when you're translating something from standard form to slope intercept to not like just punch it in the calculator and hope that you press the right buttons at the right time. Taking the five extra seconds it would take, or whatever, 15 or a minute, to write it down is well worth your effort. I need to get y by itself in order to get it into slope intercept form. So I need to get rid of plus 6x. So I'm going to subtract 6x. Those cancel out, and this becomes negative 6x minus 8. Remember, 6x and 8 are not like terms, so you can't combine them. I need to divide by 3 here because that's still keeping y from being by itself. So y is equal to negative 6 over 3 is negative 2 over 1, x minus 8 over 3. And really, if you're just doing a parallel perpendicular neither comparison, it does not really matter one way or the other um, what the intercept is, unless you just have to change it around. So let's do the tail of tape. If I can get my pen to work, there we go. Here in here. So the face-off says 1 half versus negative 2 over 1. So they're opposite signs, and you'll notice that 1 over 2 and 2 over 1 are reciprocals. So I'm going to say that these two are perpendicular. And that's it. Convert it to slope-intercept and then work it. Let's do a couple more. So in this one, another sort of a beastly problem, I guess taking the extra time to write down the work is important here. Of course, y is with 18, so I need to get rid of times 18 by dividing, and I have to divide everything. So these cancel. Now, reducing this fraction will give you 5 over 6x, and on this one, uh, negative 1 third. But, you know, that doesn't matter, in this question anyway. So I need to find my two slopes, do a little bit of tail of the tape here. Now, they are opposite signs, that's true, but they're not reciprocal. 5 over 6 and it's not, and 6 over 5 are reciprocals, but these are the same, but they're negative. So it doesn't meet the criteria to be parallel. It doesn't meet the criteria to be perpendicular. So I just say, yeah, it's nothing. It's not what you said at all. Neither. So that's it. And I think this is the last one. Um, so in this case, this one's in slope-intercept form, and if they're both in standard form, write them both out. It's in your best interest to do it. Um, so here, minus 3x, it's just plus. These cancel, of course. Now I need to divide by tw negative 24. You need to flip the inequality if this is an inequality, but it's not. It's an equation, so it doesn't matter. Now if you do a reduction here, 3 goes into 24 8 times, so it would be negative 1 8 x, and then minus 1 half here on this side. So tailing the tape a little bit here, I've got this and this, so negative 1 8 versus 
negative one eighth. Now they are not reciprocals; they're not opposites. They're the same for both. One eighth and one eighth are both there. Negative, negative, both there. So these are parallel. And that's it. It's in your best interest to write down your transition from standard form to slope intercept. It's in your best interest to circle the slope. It's also a pretty good idea to know that x isn't part of the slope, but that's a whole other thing. Um, if they have the same sign and the same uh, f no numeric slope, they're parallel. If they have opposite signs and the slopes are reciprocals of each other, it's perpendicular. Remember, it has to make that 90 degree angle, so you have to have the fraction completely flipped over. And then finally, if it's neither one of those two things, it's neither. So I hope this helps.